So I thought I'd do a quick vid. I got this uh, Mortal Kombat X uh, fight pad that my lovely wife got for me at Christmas, and I thought I'd give it a, a critique and review of it. Now, out of all the fight pads I've used, and to be honest, I only really use fight pads when I can because joystick, like I've tried 20 plus years of trying, and nah, not for me. Um, fight pads uh, are what I use now. My favourite so far is probably this one. Mad Cat Street Fighter 4 fight pad. Although I did have the uh, Street Fighter X Tekken pad, but it's for the PlayStation 3, and I think that way, if I could get the Xbox 360 version of that, I think that may be my favourite. Um, but, uh, you know, trouble is all these fight pads I've used. I've used the Hori Fighting Command, uh, and I think I've used a couple of them. Um, they all have problems, and there, there's so much that they can improve on now. The Hori Fighting Commander, I thought it held well in the hand. It was responsive, but I just did not like that D-pad. It's kind of reminded me of the PlayStation 4 pad. Just, it's, it kind of, it felt similar to this, and my thumbs will get very, very sore. Um, I think my favourite uh, D-pad is probably the floating D-pad. I do like the Xbox One, though. Uh, it's a bit clicky, but of course, it's such a bloody awkward position. And I'm not a fan of the concave, so if they could come up with something like that, raised a bit, and then over this side onto a proper fighting pad, I think it'd be a lot better. Now, when it does the MKX uh, fight pad, now the D pad is kind of similar to the Xbox One, not as clicky though, and uh, doesn't feel quite as pronounced as the Xbox One pad, and that, that does sometimes cause a problem because when I've used it a lot, I find my fingers slide off very, very easy. Um, and actually my, my thumb starts to get a bit numb after a while and I kind of lose where the D-pad is. It's, it's a bit weird that kind of happens to me with a lot of these cross D-pads as well. Uh, buttons are in a good place. A bit rattly compared to the Mad Cats ones, but uh, still not too bad at all. Uh, got trigger, nice clicky trigger there, that's pretty good. Not too sure where they put these two buttons up here. I, that does seem a bit odd. Granted, you're probably not going to use it regularly, but you'd, you'd have thought they'd put it here somewhere. So, as, as far as it feels in the hand, it does feel very good. It's got this weird texture, and it actually feels really good. It kind of like it's a texture illusion. It feels soft, but it isn't really. It's just the way it's textured. Um, it feels good on this hand with the D-pad, but as I said, because the D-pad isn't quite quick enough and raised enough, and uh, it's very, very easy to slide off. I do wish I had the floating D-pad of this, but... Uh, when you hold it on this side, it it is a bit different because it doesn't feel it doesn't fill up the entire hand. So you have to kind of move it around. So you can see it's it's only about halfway down my hand at the moment. So it can be a bit awkward with the mag as it feels like your hand. So you, you, your hand is actually resting into it, which I do actually like. So yeah, if, if they do another version, probably extend that a bit just to make it more comfortable. Um, there are no gimmicks in this or anything, so we've got no, apart from just the Xbox One 360 selector, so there's no turbo buttons or anything. Um, but yeah, I've used it quite regularly. I've used it for Street Fighter 5, Street Fighter X Tekken, Mortal Kombat X, and uh, Killer Instinct. And uh, it does seem to work quite well. Um, now, of course, well, the problem is with these fight pads as well, especially the Mad Cats ones, which I've used before, is it's going to be the reliability and how well, the wear and tear. Well, the Mad Cats, yeah. This gets very, very spongy and it starts to lose its... Well, it hasn't got much of a texture on it anyway, but it does get a bit spongy, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. Uh, but yeah, I think in the end, though, with the fight pads, uh, I'm going to see if I can try and get... if I can get a modded Sega Saturn or a Genesis 6 button one just to give that a try, because my memory is very, very vague of those, but I seem to recall they've been some of the best pads, but that's been years ago, so I might give them a try. But yeah, I, I'll probably use this one as my equal main as well as this one, so uh, do recommend it, but uh, it's going to be one of those tri try before you buy, because a lot of the things I don't like, or the things I do like, may, may just be down to personal taste. Uh, and, you know, Street Fighter X Tekken pads, you can't get, well, you can get, but there's such a huge price, and they seem to be the PlayStation 3 versions for some reason, but, uh, yeah, not a bad pad at all. I did see some negative reviews of it, and, you know, I, I don't think so. I think it's that it's, it's, it's actually pretty good. It's got a few niggles, but uh, you know, as I said, all these fight pads seem to have a few niggles, but uh, yeah, it, it does work well for me.